KPHP's physical therapy department. I am Rochelle Bennett, physiotherapist. So today is our very first amputation class catered to our amputees. In the background, we have one of our sponsors, Surgeons, who will be going through with us the process of obtaining a prosthesis. We have our dietitian in the background. Because as we know, diabetes is one of the leading causes for amputation. Next, they will be going in to with a series of presentation for approaches, the surgical approach to amputation as well as the role physical therapy plays in amputation. Right? It gives our body energy. Yes. Now, if you eat too much, your blood sugar will go oh, up. Yes. If you eat too little, your blood sugar oh, will no. fall. Now, everybody is different, so everybody requires a different yes. amount. So, if you have an appointment with your nutritionist in your clinic or with your dietitian in your hospital, it's very important you go to that appointment so they can see how much it is that you need and put you on something that will guide you. Because remember, today is just a general guide, right? So you must take a little staples in the body because your body needs that stuff. Now what we say is that you have to, or it's best to have things that are whole meat or whole grain, right? So like you're in here, you must eat your brown bread, your brown rice, your brown flour, your, yes. your brown provision, right? Which is eventually going to do what? Send out the blood sugar. Now it's not that we're saying that you cannot have a little juice in your diet. Right. 
Once that is done now, we will be moved on to what stage of prosthesis you will need. Alright, so for example, different stones above the knees, you will get a different prosthesis and so on. Alright, so uh, the prosthesis that we offer is called a shuttle accessory. Unlike prosthesis before, that you had to add a strap on above the knee or more of the tie, which was very, very insomma and carries a lot of weight. We now have a shuttle lock system where the patient wears a liner that comes with a, a locking pin. And once that patient um, installs their foot into the prosthesis, it locks automatically. Right? So the, the unloosing device is just a button press and that patient can remove their stone. The unlike prosthesis before we you have to do a lot of strap on just a key point of the prosthesis. With this one that we offer, it's a very simple and uh, I have been this at Denzi Walters, it's actually uh, my employer of the company as well, and an amputee who is actually wearing a prosthesis for so like a shoulder. Alright? So he's a below the amputee and he's wearing actually one of our shuttle lock systems, prosthesis. Alright? So, what do you think about I don't know what it is. Alright? So, I was going to say he's locked in. As you can see, there's nothing else trapping on the prosthesis to his, his limb. Alright? The patient wears this liner. It's like a sock for the amp. You can see? I'll see how I look at this. It's like a sock for the stump itself, but it comes with a locking pin, right? Um. So this is the liner that will go over the patient's residual limb. And it carries a locking pin. So once the patient puts on, so this is actually the holding device of the prosthesis. So once the patient wears this, all he has to do is install his foot into the prosthesis, and it's locked automatically. The release is done by the press of a button. All right. So. So with wow. one press of a body, you can just Amazing. ease out of the foot pretty much. Right? Very nice. For the above system is the same. It's just that uh, with the above knees, it comes with a hydraulic knee along to support the rest of the cross pieces, right? Put it down. Wow. Just like that. Just like that. Wow, very nice. Right. For, uh, for our above knee patients, we provide a hydraulic knee system, which is very comfortable to the, um, the anatomy of the human knee. So this is what our hydraulic knee system looks like, and it will be added to the prosthesis for our above knee patients. Right. Right. The covering that we have in terms of the prosthesis covering, we can either do our skin covering. So we provide for those patients who really want the food to have that real general look, we do our skin covering. It comes in very different tones. We have some that comes in like minor hair features on it. So it's just to get the food looking as realistic as possible. This type of prosthesis again is very customized and actually made on the stomach of the patient. So this won't fit any other patient or the patient that it was made for. The approach is you come into surgeons, they register you, sign you, and see if they get to your doctor's consultancy and they are A okay to get a prosthesis, they assign you to okay. and during your clinic visits that's where they have to do the stone preparation, getting the stone ready, or the compression of the shape in the stone, just to have you ready for your prosthesis, right? And during those um, periods, you actually be up a physiotherapy as well. Pretty much. So that when your prosthesis is provided, it's not so difficult to walk in the uh, gate. So, for a good prosthetic fitting, we try to get the limb as conical as possible, pretty much. So, um, with our compression wrapping, we do a first wrap with a crepe bandage, 
and then we add compression with an adhesive wrap after. Some patients just require a, a crepe bandage alone. Um, but the adhesive wrap is just adding compression and just helps to shape the stump more faster. Let's start by basing the stump, right? And that is carrying the, the, the first part of the crepe at the back of the stump. Bring it up, bring it back round by the base at the end of the stump. Alright, some wrappings require that you do it twice like a double up and then you start your diagonal across, right? It's normally called a figure eight wrapping. We don't wrap horizontally because that helps um, in regards to cutting off the circulation. But right under the patella or the knee cup as possible. All right? And meanwhile, you're doing the edges with, with the increased tension here. And the purpose is to get this bulbous shape into a conical form. All right? And then now uh, I would apply um, the adhesive wrap. And this will also increase um, compression helps in circulation as well. So this is called an adhesive wrap. It's very um, similar to the crepe, but it's more um, tension pulling. So the tighter I pull it, that's the tighter tension it gives the patient. Right? So it's be a seam like the crepe. Seam here, but I will not double. I will just cross like that. Then. This is the wrapping technique that we use for residual lens. And over time, that bulbous shape will tend to go down and get more conical. All right, bend any for me. Feel any, not too tight. All right, uh, for most of our patients in residual, we um, normally require the have a stump socks pretty much a socks designed for the residual limb and what it does is just keep the compression um, over time. It's recommended that patients um, wrap the foot um, daily so after a bath or so you pull off this bandage, clean the stump properly and after a bath or so you wrap it again. All right? For patients who require a daily wrapping, these are called stump shrinkers um, so it's pretty much created with a very high tension in it and they come with different grades, so each patient might get a, a different recommended grade. So all with this now, they don't require that you wrap because it has a very high tension. So most patients will just buy one of these and put it onto the stone. But over time, the tension will wear out. They might need another one or do some compression of it just to reduce the stump as well. So this is for a short little knee, and this is for an above knee patient. And it comes with a waistband, so the stone goes in here and it's held around the waist. Alright, so our location is at um, Surgeon Tony Rehabilitation Center. That is where prosthetic division for surgery is going to be But our headquarters is actually the crossroads at 30 degrees per percent. Patients can come here and get registered and then they will be assigned to prosthetic clinic at home. Alright, I would like to also thank the visitor to the department for having service here and visit.